Despite being a Chinese firm that produces projectors since 2016, Fengmi is still relatively unknown in the European market. With several of these laser-like models that have been universally praised by customers, Fengmi has established a strong name. I was strongly considering purchasing the Fengmi C2, but I ultimately decided to go with the Xiaomi Laser Cinema 2, because I didn't want to pay more than 2,000 euros for another projector of this kind. I re-asked the question once the Fengmi V10, also known as VX, projector arrived because it is priced similarly to the XGMI Horizon Pro but still has some intriguing features that the XG Me does not have. Because I was also seeking for a replacement for my trusty Nebula Cosmos Max 4K, which has been on my projection cabinet for almost two years, the timing couldn't have been better. Because they are entertainment devices, projectors are always more enjoyable to test than vacuum cleaners. Thus they are one of the products that I truly enjoy reviewing. Since I've been testing projectors for a while, I have a better understanding of each model's advantages and disadvantages. I don't consider myself to be the greatest expert in this subject, far from it. Both low-end and high-end products that I test fall into intriguing categories. Since price is essential to me just as much as it is to a typical customers, I had to wait till this projector arrived before I could try a Fengmi. What makes it intriguing? First, I wanted a good projector, and this Fengmi could definitely handle the job. I was seeking for a replacement for a projector to install at the back of my projection room, but I didn't want to replace it with the first comer. Why? The sound system appears to be intriguing beyond 4K. The MEMC will prevent image latency and tearing. The color coverage is extremely broad, and this Fengmi might very well replace the XGMI Horizon Pro in the future. A Chinese operating system called Fengmi OS powers the Fengmi. The interface is consequently entirely in Chinese, but you can switch the language in the settings to enable you to return without having to translate the fundamental displays, which are always filled with Chinese language content. Ideal pairings for this kind of projector include an external HDMI device like an NVIDIA Shield or an Amazon Fire TV stick. When you know where to click, starting a projector in Chinese is not difficult. I'll explain how to get to the settings and switch the language. You can select either automatic or manual image correction on this screen. To advance to the following screen, simply select the third option. The Fengmi V10 isn't a projector like the others. Instead, think of it as a speaker that has a projector built in. The projector thus resembles a sizable fabric-covered Bluetooth speaker that disperses sound in all directions, with the optical unit at the front, and the numerous connectivity choices at the back, serving as its sole interruptions. There is a sizable grid to vent the heat, and the many connecting options at the back. An Ethernet port, a headphone output, two USB 2.0 ports, and two HDMI 2.1 inputs outputs with an ARC compliant output, are all included on the projector. An imitation of a wooden circle is included on the upper portion, reinforcing the projector's warm side. In addition to serving as decoration, this wooden circular has LED buttons that are used to operate the projector. When utilizing the remote control, these buttons serve no purpose. This projector's uniqueness extends beyond just its appearance. Behind it, there is a loudspeaker with a membrane on display. A trap or ceiling hanging method cannot be used because the loudspeaker takes up virtually the entire surface. My rectangular projection room measures 4.6 by 2.9 meters, high 2.2 meters. I have two projection walls, one of which is a 2.9 meter white white wall painted only in white with a potential 4 meter setback. I also have a 133 inch ALR screen on a different wall with a potential 2.8 meter distance. Except in cases when the appearance or projector type are inappropriate, I primarily use the ALR screen. If you are close to the projector, you can hear the Fengmi V10's operational noise, which I calculated to be roughly 45 decibels. You shouldn't hear this noise very much, especially if you're viewing a movie, because this projector is located at the back of the projection room. A variety of image modifications available with the Fengmi V10 should make it possible to calibrate this projector appropriately. Due to the fact that both projectors utilize Feng OS, it is expected that these settings are the same as on the Xiaomi Laser Cinema 2. If you use the Chinese interface, you must first choose a picture to access the settings before entering the settings. Simply hit the settings button on the remote control to access the menu if you are using an external solution. You can choose one of the preset modes, movie, standard, sport, game, etc. Or access the custom menu to change the brightness, contrast, sharpness, saturation, tone, and color temperature of the image, with individual adjustment of the three basic RGB colors. Each pre-configured mode has its own unique features, some of which truly stand out, due to the occasionally very chilly and occasionally very warm hues. The childlike and movie modes get the best colorimetry results after the probe has passed once, but I'll go back to that in a moment. I experimented with the several preset modes that are listed in the image settings, and the outcomes varied greatly from mode to mode. With the kid and movie modes, I received a DE between 6 and 7 on a white wall, however with some modes, such I care, I received a DE above 12. Like with the Xiaomi Laser Cinema 2, I will take my time calibrating this projector, in an effort to acquire a better result. I will also test several types of canvas in order to gauge the outcome. Additionally, the contrast varies fairly much from one mode to the next, but 
but I'll get back to that, so you can pick the one that works best for you. I get 760 lumens of brightness in view mode, and 1404 lumens of brightness in office mode, when the brightness is set to 50% in each case. The brightness can therefore increase depending on the mode used and the settings, but I was unable to get the 2500 lumens that the manufacturer claimed. Increasing brightness isn't always a good idea since, even though the brightness is stronger at 100% of the light, the image quality suffers. You should instead establish a balance between good brightness and good image quality. I should be able to achieve that balance using calibrating. With the default settings, the image has good crispness, 50 for sharpness. The various lines can be distinguished clearly with the various test photographs I use, and these lines don't exhibit any oddities. Well there is some sharpness, it is not as strong as on comparable Chinese projectors. The Feng Mi V10 projector was created with the idea of a speaker in mind, and it appears that the shape of the device was intended to enhance sound quality. I don't have a tool or studio to gauge the caliber of sound a loudspeaker produces, therefore I can only express my subjective judgment. The Feng Mi V10 has a definite sense of quality, which is largely due to its format and appearance. So I anticipated that the sound quality would positively surprise me, but that wasn't the case. The audio quality is good, but I don't think it differs significantly from other projectors' audio in my opinion. You have to turn up the level high enough for the sound to start to be very immersive, but sadly I find that the sound at full volume loses a little in quality. I find that the sound is quite warm, and the music does not detract from the representation of the voices. I swiftly increased the level from 50 to 100 before feeling a little saturation. I started this movie at 50 volume. The sound is not overly loud because I have never topped 90 decibels, however an XG Mi Horizon can easily exceed 100 decibels in the same circumstances. In the high-end DLP, LED category, where it would compete with the XG Mi Horizon Pro, is where I would place this projector if I had to categorize it. The Feng Mi V10 is a product that is made to look good right away, with its warm exterior appearance, it stands out clearly from its rivals. The Feng Mi stands out for its 240Hz refresh rate in 1080p on the more technical aspects, which will appeal to gamers, but on the majority of other aspects, it provides a service comparable to an XG Mi Horizon. Although the image is aesthetically pleasing to some people and the settings allow you to modify the image tonality to your preferences, from a strictly technical standpoint, I had hoped to gain better calorimetry or, at the very least, more more efficient modification options. The calorimetry is extremely comparable to an XG Mi Horizon right out of the box. However the latter allows for a finer calibration to provide more accurate colors. The contrast represents a weakness, similar to that of the majority of projectors of this type. To discover something better, you must choose a laser projector. On the other hand, the autofocus is quick and effective, and the image is very clear even without changing the settings. The Feng Mi V10, which uses the same operating system as the Xiaomi Laser Cinema 2, has a range of motion compensation levels that reduces image tearing during sudden lateral motions. You can easily see the value of this feature by removing this option. The Feng Mi V10 produces good sound, but I wasn't able to provide an objective argument argument to support my opinion, which left me unhappy. Although the sound is pleasant and warm, I believe that it lacks a little relief, and the volume control is not linear so you have to increase the volume pretty quickly to experience the benefit. I consider the XG Mi Horizon's audio output to be fuller and more potent. How is XG Mi Horizon defended against by Feng Mi? Feng Mi and XG Mi, in my opinion, provide experiences that are somewhat comparable. However, XG Mi wins since its settings allow for superior image quality, even though most customers will probably not notice much of a difference. Additionally, the XG Mi performs better on an operating system level, and uses less power. I therefore prefer the XG Mi at a similar price point. If the Feng Mi were a little less expensive, I might be a little less certain. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you soon.